Whopper, Whopper. We've all been a victim of Burger King's ear-splitting Whopper jingle, so much so that the internet has come to the general consensus that it ranks as one of the most annoying commercials in recent television history, or at least one that's pretty easy to make fun of. But before offending everyone's eardrums, Burger King had a role in a whopping amount of other, more concerning controversies, including, but surprisingly not limited to, a trademark dispute leading to a federal lawsuit, disputes with PETA governmental and social agencies and unions over animal rights, corporate responsibility, ethics, and social justice, a breach of contract dispute in the Middle East over the legality of Israeli settlements in Palestinian territories in accordance to international law, issues over the interpretation of the Muslim version of canon law in regards to promotional artwork on a dessert package which raised cultural sensitivity concerns, and of course, the infamous Regardless of the many ethical entanglements, Burger King has remained as one of the highest grossing fast food companies for years, in part due to their infamously cheeky ad campaigns. However, there is one Burger King ad that has more or less been ignored. Now, when imagining a burger with a limited choice of toppings, you may think that there's only a handful of ways to enjoy it. Maybe switch up the sauce one day, or order it without cheese the next. You idiot, you couldn't be more wrong! The Burger King himself claims that there are 221,184 ways to have a Whopper. As I'm a self-inflicted physics student, it should come as no surprise that I'm a math-loving masochist, which is why I've taken it upon myself to prove or disprove Burger King's seemingly egregious claim. To keep the calculations uniform and accurate, I'm taking my information straight from Burger King's online menu. And according to the online Burger King menu, there are five different types of Whoppers available at all times. The Whopper, the Double Whopper, the Triple Whopper, the Impossible Whopper, and the Whopper Junior. The standard toppings for the Whopper are mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickles, ketchup, and onion. But there are also optional ingredients you can add on like mustard and barbecue sauce, giving us eight total toppings to choose from, assuming the Whopper has to include the patty and the bun. This can be mathematically represented as 2 to the 8, or 256. And since we've got five different Whoppers to choose from, we can multiply this number by five, giving us 1,280 possible ways to have a Whopper. But that's 219,904 short of the magic number, which means we need to get a bit more creative. When customizing your Whopper, you aren't limited to just yes or no questions. For every vegetable choice, there's an option for an extra quantity of any particular vegetable. And for every condiment choice, there are options for an extra or lighter quantity of any particular condiment. Furthermore, there are specific customization options for each Whopper. So let's start with the Impossible Whopper. Since there are four vegetables, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles, with three possibilities each, yes, no, or extra, we can write this as three to the four. And since there are four condiments, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and barbecue sauce, with four possibilities each, yes, no, light, or extra, we can write that as four to the four. You can also add American cheese and or bacon, two options with possibilities of yes or no, giving us two to the two, or an extra patty, one option with two possibilities of yes or no, giving us two to the one. Multiplying all of these numbers together puts us at 165,888 ways to have an Impossible Whopper alone. The Whopper Junior has the same customization options as the Impossible Whopper, so multiplying 165,888 by two should get us the sum total number of ways to have an Impossible Whopper and Whopper Junior. But that puts us at 331,776, which is above what Burger King claims. So maybe Burger King was exclusively talking about the original Whopper. But that has even less customization options than the Impossible and Junior Whopper. So the amount of ways to have an original Whopper would be less than 165,888 alone. So let's pick up where we left off. The Whopper, Double Whopper, and Triple Whopper all have the same vegetable, condiment, bacon, and cheese options as the Impossible and Junior Whoppers. And they also don't have any additional options. Therefore, if we take the product of the vegetable options, three to the four, the condiment options, four to the four, and the bacon and cheese options, two to the two, and multiply that by the three remaining Whopper choices, we get 248,832. As aforementioned, the Impossible Whopper and Whopper Jr. have an extra patty option. So originally I thought that there was some overlap with the Double Whopper, since ordering a Whopper Jr. or Impossible Whopper with an extra patty would just make it a form of the Double Whopper. But we don't have to worry about the Impossible Whopper since there is no Impossible Double or Impossible Triple Whopper, and we don't have to worry about the Whopper Jr. since there is an unambiguous size difference between the Jr. and its larger Whopper counterparts. So, with everything we've learned, every corner of the online Burger King menu scoured, every assignment I've procrastinated by writing this script, every unimportant Whopper customization considered, 
we have the ultimate Whopper equation. One hundred and sixty-five thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight impossible Whopper combinations plus one hundred and sixty-five thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight Whopper Junior combinations plus two hundred and forty-eight thousand eight hundred thirty-two Whopper Double Whopper and Triple Whopper combinations gives us five hundred and eighty thousand six hundred and eight ways to have a Whopper. But at the end of the day, do the 221,184 or 580,608 ways to have a Whopper even matter? Burger King tempts us with this indulgence of choice, this oasis of free will, but no matter which Whopper is prepared, Every patron walks down the same rapid path of chemical consumption and meets the same manufactured fate the fast food suits have prematurely planned out for us. It makes one wonder if their choices even matter. What's the point in defining oneself if we all meticulously march towards the same end? Why hail God or free will as the great authors of our lives if they just write the same stories time and time again? Will we forever be clamped down by the boot of unity disguised under the guise of individuality? When will we break free of the shackles that confine us to the singularity kismet? Have it your way is nothing but a cruel joke spread by those who control us, a mere hologram of how we imagine the world should be. We live not in a world of choice, but a world not yet awake from the dream of such a luxury. How sweet our slumber is, how innocent are we, sleeping doves unaware of the reality that lies outside our nest, how harsh the paradox of enlightenment is. Should we choose to spread our wings, we will be met with nothing save a brutish wasteland ill-suited for our flight. Thus the pinnacle of question emerges. Should one stay dormant for the sake of tranquility, or become disordered for the sake of truth? Enlightenment cannot be extracted from within the confines of a fast food burger, for a Whopper is nothing but... Nothing but... Oh god, what am I even saying? I'm three weeks behind in my classes, and instead I'm choosing to monologue about enlightenment. Who am I, an academic? Hell, I'm barely a student. And all this stemmed from what? A, a whopper? I mean, I hardly even know her.